Today I want to discuss the leveling and questing of Bless Online and I also want to talk about the PvE. So I realized that from my last Bless video, looking at the comment section, a lot of you guys are turned off by this game because of how PvP focused it is. I probably made the game come off as a 90% to 10% PvP to PvE game and that's because I was talking about the major selling points of Bless to me, personally why I'm returning to Bless. And the main reason was because I missed that faction versus faction, large scale open world PvP. But while describing the game like this and telling you guys why I'm returning, it made the game seem like it's just all about PvP. So today we're gonna talk more about the PvE. But I also want to discuss the leveling and questing because I've encountered a few problems and also I want you guys to know how it is, what to expect. So the other day I was going to start recording Bless videos and I was looking around at which feature can I talk about today, which feature can I make a video on. But then I realized I'm only like level 23 on one character and 19 on another. And I don't even have access to all these cool features that I want to show off. So I decided I'm going to have to push the Bless videos off for a while and just start leveling. Now the leveling in Bless, in my opinion, is very tedious when you play solo. The way I think the questing was made to be in Bless is for you to group up with other party members and take on these quests. Because the questing is a bit generic. You have these blue quests and you have these yellow quests. The blue quests are the story quest, so you get a lot of cutscenes and stuff. And as I watch these cutscenes, it reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV and how they get you so involved into some story that seems pretty epic. And then you have yellow quests, which are your go kill X amount of monsters or go gather X amount of plants. But as you kill a monster in Bless, you unlock a new quest, which is to kill that monster X amount of times. This is to pretty much gain knowledge on the monster or add it to your monster book. So as I get a quest to kill 5 vultures, and I go out and kill 1 vulture, a new quest pops up to kill 10 vultures. If you have OCD, this is going to kill you. You're going to be like, holy shit, I just want to clear my quest log, but they just keep popping up. And that's how it is for me. The thing is that when you play by yourself, every encounter with a monster is like a Dark Souls battle. I've noticed that. On both characters, on my assassin and on my berserker, I have to pull one mob one at a time. And that's not saying that I haven't gotten into situations where I've taken on three mobs at once and killed all of them, but you have to be cautious when you're like questing in this game because there's a lot of areas that are filled with mobs and you have to kill a certain amount or you have to grab an item. But if you aggro more than one of the mobs, you're probably going to die. And with the combat the way it is and it just feeling so slow, it's not that fun to have to kill 20 mobs and then have to pull one at a time. It, it gets pretty annoying, it gets pretty boring. But if you're with a group, you can do these quests much faster. You wouldn't have a problem pulling one at a time, you can pull them in groups. You have people to talk with as you're questing, and you don't have to ninja every quest where you're just tiptoeing between enemies hoping not to get into their line of sight, otherwise you aggro too. You die, you turn into a ghost, you go back to your body, you get up, the same thing happens, and it's a pain in the ass. So if you had friends, it would be a lot easier, a lot more fun. So my advice for those who will be playing Bless, who try it on the Russian version or Korean version, get a few friends to go in with you because you're not going to have a fun time. Also, dungeons. If you can't queue up or find people to run dungeons with because they don't speak your language, well, that's also going to be a problem. So it's best to have friends to play with. And then if you plan on playing the North American or European version, it'll be much easier to find friends, but also keep in mind that questing in a party is going to be much, much better. Unlike Revelation or other games, the questing isn't really a solo thing. You're not by yourself and then you only group up with players when it comes to doing dungeons. In this game, I'd say it's best to quest with friends as soon as it's possible, which should be early on. Another reason I think they have it like this is because, similar to Arc Age, as you're questing, you're going to get into PvP zones where you come across the other faction. And like I said in my previous Bless video, if you're red, you're dead. So people are going to be like, yo, what are you doing in my zone? And they're going to try to kill you. Same goes for you if you're a more aggressive player. So if you're questing in groups, if you're already in groups, well, this just means there's going to be a lot of faction versus faction in between questing, but you don't have to worry so much about getting ganked as a solo player because you'll always have friends or party members to back you up. And that's just really going to make the game a lot of fun, in my opinion. 
I've also seen that from the comments of the last blessed video, some of you guys were turned off to the PvP, but you also spoke about how you liked the idea of questing with friends and then getting into some PvP together. It could be a new experience for you, it could be a lot of fun, and I think it definitely will be. Now, let's talk about the PvE in Bless. So as you guys know, sometimes I use Steparu's footage for my videos, and for this part right here, I'm going to be showing off some more of Steparu's footage. If you go to this playlist that I link in the description of this video, you'll see that Steparu has some dungeon guide videos. And these videos will show you the mechanics of Bless. From just this fight alone, you can see that the mechanics can come off pretty difficult for a first timer. Your goal here is to kite this snake, and while the other snake spits these balls of venom onto the floor, you want to guide the big snake into the venom. Now you have to put 10 stacks of venom on the big snake to then freeze the snake and do damage. After that you repeat the process, and then you take on the smaller snake, and the same mechanics kind of apply to the smaller snake. So Steparu in the video gets the whole group to group on the smaller snake and make it spit venom at itself. That way it puts stacks on itself and then allows you to do damage to it. While explaining these mechanics in this video may not seem so exciting, if you watch the actual video it does look pretty interesting. This is only the third boss fight in this dungeon. So if you like to take a look at all the bosses in this dungeon and all the mechanics, they are pretty interesting. I can see that this game can also appeal to those who like hardcore dungeon and raid mechanics. There's also going to be world bosses in the game, so you can have fun taking on those as a raid. But the thing is, this is an open world PvP game, so they will get contested, I'm pretty sure, most of the time by bigger guilds or just the other faction. So that could be a turn off to those that don't like PvP but do like PvE because it's fun to take on a world boss, but then you have the other faction there to kick your ass. So that's pretty much it. That's the questing and leveling. Being by myself on the Korean version, it's very lonely. The leveling and questing is tedious and it's a bit hard. So I might join up with the English speaking community or I might bring some friends to play with me. But if you don't see a blessed video for the next few days or for a week or so, it's because I'm leveling and trying to get to the good content that I want to show you guys. I also like the PvE and the dungeons in this game. They're pretty difficult. And as I said, you guys should definitely take a look at Steparo's playlist. There's a bunch of videos showing off different features of Bless, but there's also dungeon guides, which I think you should look at. If you're interested in the PvE of Bless, or if me talking about the PvP so much turned you off. So until the next one, guys. See you soon, friends.